Howdy everyone, I'm back out here on the river again. It's a beautiful spring day here in Minnesota. It's mid-May right now for the past week. We've had nice warm sunny weather and that's got the smallmouth starting to spawn. So we're gonna try to catch a few off beds today. I know bed fishing isn't for everyone. Some of you are probably strongly against it. I actually used to be myself until I accidentally caught a smallie off a bed one day several years ago. I sat there right next to the nest, released the fish, watched it swim right back. It wasn't the end of the world. A bunch of fish didn't hop on that nest and raid the eggs. It was pretty much like nothing ever happened. So as long as you're careful and you get those fish back in the water quick and you're not fishing them in an area where there's a ton of bluegill or perch or rock bass or little fish like that around, it's really not gonna have much effect on them. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. I'm gonna switch to my other camera, get my rod rigged up, and I'll show you guys what we'll be throwing at them. I think I'm gonna go with the Nico craw out here again today. I threw one of these craws out here a few days ago, caught a couple of really nice smallies on it. On that trip, I had it rigged up like this on a round head jig, and it worked all right. It does have its downsides though, so we're gonna rig it up a little bit different today. We're actually gonna Nico rig it. So for a weight, what I'm gonna use is I took one of these eight ounce jig heads. If you guys can see the kind of bait keeper on that, that is the ideal type for these Nico plastics. So I just took one of those jigs, I snipped the hook off, so I've got about three quarters of an inch of hook shank left there. This Nico plastic is real tough, so it'd be difficult trying to stick a nail weight into there. So I'm gonna stick that jig right into the tail end of the craw, just like that. So we've got just the weight, no hook. And then for a hook, I'm gonna use one of these owner one knot mosquito light hooks. And I'm gonna to wanna to put that through right about there. So we've got the hook at this end, the weight down there at that end. Just like that. Now there's a couple of reasons why I really like Nico's plastics. For one, they're super durable. I expect this one rig should last us all day. Another reason is that they're super buoyant. So even with this hook, this craw is gonna sit nice and upright like that. A lot of these smally beds consist of golf ball to fist size rocks. And the problem that I was having with that jig was that it would get hung up between a couple of those rocks. Then it's pretty much stuck there. You can't really give it any action. Once you pop it off that rock, it pretty much pops it off the bed. And then the bass just isn't really interested in it. Now where this Nico rig is gonna shine is if that weight gets stuck down between a couple rocks, I can still twitch my line and give it some action. So if the fish is sitting there looking at it, as long as I give it some action, chances are it's gonna pick that craw up. So I think that is gonna be a killer rig out here today. Let's go toss it on some beds and we'll see if we can agitate some smallies into picking it up. I'm just paddling along right now looking for beds. There's one. Not a real big fish. I'm trying to get away from the lawnmower noise a little bit, honestly. We'll go back into this little cove here. I'm gonna try to find one, sneak up on it plant my GoPro so we can catch the fish picking up that craw on camera. There's a nest. I didn't see the fish. I might have got a little bit too close and spooked him before I looked though. size smallie on it. I think we're going to try to catch that one. There goes another one he just swam by. Oh, he probably came off that nest. There's a whole bunch of beds back here in this area. This is the kind of stuff I look for for smallie spawning grounds on the river. They like to get out of the current. I'll find a few on the main river tucked into little slack water spots along the bank. But the vast majority of the beds that I find are in these little bay type areas like this. 
I'm gonna set my GoPro up on this one. We'll try to catch that fish. I think this one's gonna be pretty aggressive. He's not going too far from the nest. Usually when they do that, they're gonna be super aggressive. That should be about good. All right, I've got my camera dropped. I'm extra careful when I sneak up here to drop that camera. I don't wanna stir up a bunch of silt. For one, I don't want my footage to be cloudy, but the main reason is I don't wanna coat his eggs with a bunch of mud. I don't know if that'll have a negative impact on him or not. But we've got that camera dropped. I'm gonna back off the nest. I'll give it a few minutes. That fish should come right back and we'll see if we can catch him. Alright, it looks like that fish is back on his bed over there. Let's toss that craw in front of him and see if he'll pick it up. Here he comes, he's looking at it. He's looking. giving it the stare down. back over there instantly he picked it up yeah, I twitched it right in front of him for a couple minutes there couldn't get him to go but I must have just tossed it back in the exact right spot This one all worked up. Oh yeah, that's a nice molly. Wow. Man, that is a beautiful fish. First one of the day on that Nico Craw. I'm going to get a quick length measurement on them, and we'll send them back. That one is about 20 and 3 quarters. Good way to start the day. Okay, there was a nice one sitting on a bed. Right there, there he is. You see him? drop the camera down there back off let that fish come back and we'll see if we can catch him all right I'm getting out of here I'll let you go back to your nest there he goes right there see they just kind of hang around the area until I back off the nest looks like he's going right back over there I'll back it up a little bit, drop my anchor, and we'll throw that craw at him. I see you up there. I always like to toss it over, just so I don't splash it down right on top of him. Got that one went right to it. Picked it up, I didn't get him though. That's alright. He picked that thing up instantly. 
he'll pick it up again. That one was super aggressive. It's nice to see because the last couple I tried to catch weren't. I think we're still in the early stages of spawn. The other couple I couldn't get to bite, they might not have had eggs on their nest quite yet. This is a good fish. Come on up here. So I'm gonna sit down and get ready to net him. Come on up here. Wow. Man, what a pretty fish. No messing around out of that one. He went right over that craw and grabbed it. Get a quick length measurement. That one's about 19 and a quarter. Super pretty fish though. He's gonna go right back over to his bed over there. We found a couple nice ones back here willing to bite. There was another one right off of that tire sticking up there that looked like it was probably 20 plus. I gave that one about a half an hour. Could not get him to bite. There are several other beds back here too. The fish don't look quite as big though, so I'm gonna keep moving along, try to find those bigger fish. I did end up giving this Nico rig a little bit more weight. That eighth ounce was working okay. I just wanted something a little bit heavier so I could twitch that craw without dragging it so much. So I took a fifth ounce Ned head jig, snipped the hook off it just like that other one, stuck it in there. Now he's a little bit heavier. So we'll go try to find some more big smallies to toss that in front of. Ooh, that's a big one right there. Yeah, we're gonna try to catch that one. The fish is back over there. He's looking at that craw. Got him. Keep him above that log right there. Oh, get away from that tire. All kinds of obstacles out here. Yeah, I just barely got that craw onto his nest. He came and grabbed it. Smallmouth. Jeez, look at that thing. Yeah, we better get a quick length measure on that one. I bet you that one's 20 plus. Got his nose up against that end. 
21 inches. Wow, what a fish. Off we go, back over there to your bed. So I've got my camera planted on a bed right up here. The fish has been just kind of circling out front, so. Oh, there he goes, he's finally going back to the bed. Got my crow over there, I'm gonna give him a little twitch. Got him. Finally, he picked up that craw. I had to work this one for a little bit. I was looking when I dropped my camera, I didn't notice any eggs on the nest over there, so I wasn't sure if we'd get this one to bite. But finally, he picked up that craw. Oh, this is a big fish. Sit down, get ready to net this one. Come on up here. Come here. I just don't want them getting around my power pole anchor back there. There we go. Wow. Jeez, that is a monster smallmouth. I'll get that hook out of him. Yeah, we'll throw that one on the measuring board. Twenty and a quarter. Man, we are getting some tanks out here today. This corner looks good back here. Oh yeah, there's a big one on the bed. It's up real shallow here, we'll try to catch this one. Fish is finally back on the bed over there. Yep. He went right over to that craw. I had to wait a little while for this one to come back. Ooh, look at that. But once he came back to that bed, he did not mess around. He picked up that craw instantly. This one might be another 20 plus. It is a big old smolly, that's for sure. Thank you.
We'll measure that one real quick before we put her back. Another 20 and a quarter. It's fourth one today, over 20 inches. What an awesome day. Try to find one more. There's usually a couple real big ones back here in this corner. Whoa, look at that snapping turtle. Thing looks like a dinosaur. Yeah, it's weird. It seems every year these beds are in the exact same spots. I'm pretty sure it's the same fish that keep going back to them too. That one's got a fish on it. Pretty good size one. Might try to catch that one. Oh, this one had one on it too, I bet. Didn't even notice that one. We're gonna paddle down the shoreline, see what else is down here though. There's one. That's a decent one. He's not huge. We'll let that one be. back here is big old carp right there that's not what we're looking for though I'm gonna paddle back over the one right in the corner there before that fallen tree we'll go set the camera up on that bed see if we can catch that fish hey there turtle to sneak up over here and see if I can see if that other one was a real big one though. I don't think it was that bad. That one's got about an 18 incher sitting on it. Ooh, that's a big one right there. We're gonna try to catch that one. That's the one that I want. That one's pretty good size too, but I think that one was a little bit bigger. Get my camera going here. All right, we'll drop that down there. Hopefully we can get that fish picking up that jig on GoPro. Pretty sure that fish is back on the bed over there. Oh yeah, he's looking at that craw. Twitch, twitch. He's eyeing it. waves are making it really tough to see. Got him. There we go. Must have put that craw right in the perfect spot to irritate him enough to pick it up. Oh yeah, nice fish. That out of the way. Yeah, 
Yeah, this one's a big one. Come on up here. Wow. Jeez, that is a tank, Smalley. Get him unhooked quickly. Toss him on the measuring stick real quick. Got his face up against that end. He is 20 and a half. Unbelievable day out here. A couple of these, I'm not sure if they hit that jig in front of the camera. I try to cast it right in front if I can. Hoping I got the eat on that one. Might just pick up that camera, drop it right down over here on that next bed. Perfect spot right there. Pick up that craw. You better get it. It's gonna eat your babies. Get away from that tree. Oh, that's a tank. All right, I got him away from those branches though. Maybe not. <laughs> Don't want to speak too soon here. Geez, I thought that other one on the bed next to him was bigger. This one might actually be the bigger fish. Stick my paddle into the mud. Stop my kayak from spinning so much. I'll get that out of the way. I don't want the fish to get caught up in there. Oh, thought I had him. Come on over here. Man, that is a beast of a smallmouth. Wow. Oh, I think he finally broke my craw off after using that same one all day. Finally lost my craw. We'll get a quick length on that one and send them back. There we go, 20 and about a quarter. Man, what a tank. Oh, hey, there's my craw. I just lost one of his pinchers. <laughs> His missing pincher is right there on my hook. Not quite sure how that happened, but still got my craw. That's the important part. Well, I think I'm going to call it quits after those back to back 20s here in this corner. The wind is starting to pick up a little bit. I've got a little bit of ripples on the water. It's making it tough to see those fish. 
I'm about overdue for some lunch too. Plus I think I've caught all the big ones I've seen on beds back here. There's plenty of others, but I think I'll leave them be. What an awesome day it's been out here though. Caught six mollies today, over 20 inches. I think our best five went for 102.75. Yeah, that's an incredible day. That Nico rigged, Nico craw, got the job done. I tell you what, that setup is deadly for bass on beds. Not literally, of course. All those fish are still alive and I can pretty much guarantee you that they're back sitting on their beds. But you get what I mean, it catches them. Anyway, it's time for me to paddle back over there to my truck. I had a blast out here today though. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time. <laughs>